What's up guys, let's talk about MediChat for real estate agents in 2020. Does it still work? What are some of the changes? Because as of March 4th, there were some very crucial changes that made a lot of people shy away from MediChat as well as chatbots in general. But there's a lot of really unique tools that are now integrated into MediChat. So I wanna get into that. I'm gonna share my screen with you, walk you through all of the changes that have happened in 2020 on terms of MediChat, as well as how to properly use it because it's still extremely effective. So I want to share with you exactly how you can integrate ManyChat in order to convert your leads in terms of automation, and it's going to save you a ton of time. Now, before we get into this video, I do want to mention that I do have a free ManyChat course, a mini course walking you through step by step all of the basics as well as how to set up your own bots, or if you do want the information that's on this whiteboard behind me about the real estate marketing strategy that's working really effective, just drop a comment below. Let me know which one you're interested in or both, and I'll gladly send that to you. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and show you how to properly use ManyChat in 2020. All right, guys. Now, I apologize for this unfortunate angle, but um, I've got a new setup that I'm working on right now, and I don't have the right uh, connections to get everything set up properly how it should be. So uh, you're going to have to look up at me, but let's get straight into it. Um, let's talk about the differences with ManyChat in terms of what's changed. This is my demo account. Um, I've got my actual account that has thousands of people in it, but this is just the one that I like to use for demonstrations. And let's talk about the differences that you need to know in terms of 2020, because again, I've got a full tutorial. I'll link it in the card above up here if you do want to see that in terms of understanding understanding how to use all of the basics. In this, I just want to give you an idea of all the changes and then again show you some of the creative strategies you can use now. Now here's a change. You can see SMS and email. Now again, I've got my email connected to the other one. I don't have it connected to this one, but you're able to send text messages now as well as email. Now previously, ManyChat was specifically for Facebook Messenger, which was good, but now that the rules came into March 4th, where you're not actually able to get in contact with somebody after 24 hours on Messenger unless they opt back in, it's good to be able to capture their information via text, um, so get their phone number as well as get their email because now instead of just having Messenger as a platform for you to use, you can actually create one flow and one sequence, sort of like a very dynamic campaign, whether you're using a typical CRM with a follow-up drip sequence. Now instead of just being limited to email, or in this case just being limited to Messenger, you're able to integrate Messenger, text and email all in the same sequence. So you're able to converse with people and stay in touch with people and nurture them in very creative ways compared to what you're able to do before. So it's really cool because previously you would have to use something like um, Twilio or something like that for uh, text messages, Active Campaign, MailChimp, or Infusionsoft for email, and then ManyChat for Messenger. But now you can do all three of them in one, which is really powerful. So you've got your live chat here, which again just shows you what you can do in terms of communicating with people live. And then what I want to show you in terms of the differences are the fact that this, so previously you used to be able to send broadcasts after 24 hours. So you could continuously, if you got a new listing, you could send it out to your entire database and say, Hey, you just got this new listing. Are you interested? Click below and it could send them down a flow in order to give them more information, capture their information and maintain that top of mind awareness. But now you're not able to do that again. You need to make sure that after the first 24 hours of being in contact with them on Messenger, that you actually either send them to email, send them to text, and then have them opt back in in order to get back in touch with them via messages. So you can do paid messages now, which is kind of unique. You're able to uh, kind of override the system and the status quo if you pay. Again, a lot of platforms are kind of going to the pay to play, but this is where things start to get interesting is the flows, okay? So we're going to talk about this and you can see up here, this is the big uh, change here. So business use cases, start with a simple flow, um, a template used for your business and build out in minutes. So all you need to do is provide your Wi-Fi, collect um, feedback, you can collect feedback from customers, you can make reservations, you can you, you know collect email phone numbers. Um, and you're able to schedule appointments and messenger using Calendly, which is another great one if you want to schedule appointments directly and natively within ManyChat. So lots of really powerful tools here. And there's going to be something that I'm going to show you right now in terms of what I like to use. Okay, so we've got my messenger bot here. 
And then you can see here, and again, this, if you want to drop a comment below, I'll send this to you where you can get access to all of this, but I've got an automated 33 touch point sequence, eight week buyer, eight week seller, all kinds of flows built out in order to, you know, basically automate your lead generation and automate your uh, client follow up. So I think this is really powerful. Now let's look at home buyer questions. So this is where a lot of the changes happen. And again, this looks crazy. It kind of is crazy. We've got a chatbot specialist that goes to all the annual chatbot or many chat, um, I guess, conferences every year to see what the latest and greatest is. And he builds all of these out for us. So he has dialed this into the point that it does adhere to all of the new rules. So again, if you do want this, drop a comment below and I will send you where you can get access to this. Um, but you can see here that basically it will converse and convert all of your leaves for you. So this is the home buyers one. I've got one for home sellers. It gets all of their information. And then at the end, it kind of spits it out and gives you this. And this goes straight into a Google Sheets form. And then you can integrate that Google Sheets form with your CRM, which is really powerful because now previously when I was doing lead generation on Facebook lead ads, which is probably the best way to generate leads and the most cost efficient way to generate leads in 2020, I would have to pull over on the side of the highway, call the lead within the first five minutes and hope to God they pick up. And then if not, you're stressing and you're worried and you're trying to get in touch with them via text, call, email, whatever. But now I just send them to the many chat flow and basically it does the work for you. So you don't have to do anything. It captures all of the information that they're interested in, sends it directly to you, inputs it into the CRM, and now you're good to go. So your lead generation is essentially automated, which is why ManyChat is so powerful or any chat bot for, for that matter is really powerful in terms of scaling your lead generation abilities, okay? So this is something that you ha we really had to adjust this year just based on the fact that all the new rules came into place where... If we had it set up previously like we did and we started you know, going down this rabbit hole of communicating with them after the first 24 hours, you would have got your account banned. And a lot of people actually had their Facebook accounts banned, not from using my system, obviously, but people that decided after March 4th, and I made sure to update this before March 4th, but people that decided to try and cheat the system and continue to do it the old way after March 4th, a lot of people actually had their entire Facebook accounts banned, blocked, deleted, everything can't go back in there. And that's really stressful and str and it's a big struggle because now you have to start from scratch. So one of the, again, the biggest changes right now are being able to collect um, emails as well as uh, phone numbers. So let me show you how you can do something yourself if you wanted to create a new flow and I'll show you something that is really powerful here. So we'll just do test one. And we're going to add some text here and, and you have to choose your content type. So we're just going to choose other for this sake. And we're going to say, Hey, and you can click this little guy here. First name. I see that you were interested in this new listing. Would you like me to send you the photos and details? So you can perform an action, right? Um, and the action can be whatever you decide to do in terms of adding a tag, you know, subscribing to a sequence. And um, this is a great way to, again, if you want to do it this way, and, and maybe it's a buyer lead. And you can start to track all of your clients this way. So let's go back here for a second and you can do, I just want to give you a brief example of what you can do here. So you can input obviously an image. So if you if you wanted to input an image of the listing, you can toss that down here. You can create a video. So if you've got a property tour or if you've got some sort of video of you just walking around with your phone and you wanted to say, hey, I noticed you just checked out this listing, wanted to see if you had any opinion or you know, wanted to see if you wanted the photos or details, it's, it's hot, it's gonna go quick, you know, let me know what you're interested in. You can, of course, include a video um, or you can actually do some neat stuff which is like a delay. So it can actually seem like you're typing for three seconds and then you can add more text afterward and say, you know, uh, it, it just came, sorry. market this week and it's likely to go fast. 
again, guys, I'm just making this up um, for an example's sake, just to show you how everything um, works. But we have a guy on our team that builds out custom bots for agents, if you're interested in that. Um, so the message that will pop up initially is this, you know, hey, first name, I see that you're interested in, in a new in, you know, this new listing. Would you like me to send you the photos or details? And then it'll fake as if it's, you know, typing for three seconds as if you're typing this and then this would pop up. It just came on the market this week um, and it's likely to go fast. So the next step after is you can add an action in here and then we can do any of these, right? So this is really cool. So we can either send a new message and go through the exact same thing that we did on Facebook Messenger, which is the way that most people do it. We can perform another action we can start a new flow. So if you've got some sort of buyer's flow or seller's flow like I have in my in my templates um, that people get, this is the way to do it. You've got a smart delay. So you can wait one day and then continue it. Again, you have to be very hesitant with this because if you do one day and then go to another messenger uh, message on Facebook, you can get into some trouble. But what you can do is you can wait one day and now you can do something like send an SMS. So now you can send them a text this way. And you can say, you know, hey, I noticed you reached out about the listing yesterday, but I wasn't able to get the photos over to you. Where would you like me to send them? And then again, maybe you want to do, um, you know, continue to another step and maybe they don't answer that. And now you want to send them an email, right? So now you can send them an email with the headline, the image, the text and a call to action button. So as you can see, now you're able to very dynamically include everything into one flow. And this is what's making ManyChat so powerful. If you execute it properly, it can, and now the unfortunate part is because previously it was all on Messenger. It was very easy to use, very easy for anybody to just jam out, create a couple Messenger flows and integrate them into the system. But now the fact that there's email and text and laws around when you can get in touch with people, it does take a bit more competence in order to get this done properly and do it in a very effective way. You can easily create a very generic one, like for your website. Um, so you can, you'll be able to see here in terms of like, uh, you know, sequences, you've got all of the lead qualification, you've got for buyers, sellers, and then you've got leads. So this is the lead flows. This is the lead qualifications. And then a couple things that I wanted to show you now are the welcome messages. Um, so this is a great thing in order to have it on your Facebook page. Um, so that whenever people message your Facebook page, they start to go down a flow. And you can see here that again, it goes right to the home buyer questions if they're interested in buying a house, a home seller questions if they're interested in selling the house. Um, you can see the open rate is 99% basically. And this is just on my test account. On my actual account, it's even better. And I think this is a really great way to, again, just continue to be different than other agents and convert. And it's, it's really scalable because again, I was really struggling before when I was getting so many leads with Facebook lead generation that it was great because that's a great problem to have leads for very cheap. That's what I was doing. And, and again, I've got a course showing people how to do exactly that. But if you're getting all these leads and you're not able to converse with them or convert them really quickly like you're supposed to, then ultimately you're actually hurting yourself because you're letting a lot of leads slip and ultimately you're just wasting money. So that's primarily just what I want to show you is understanding that number one, after March 4th, which obviously that has passed, that you need to be very, very cognizant of how you get in touch with people on Messenger so that your account doesn't get banned. You are now able to integrate your calendar for scheduling appointments, which is incredible. And you're also able to get things like emails and phone numbers in order to completely create a very robust, engaging system for following up with people. A lot of people use a traditional CRM and that's only via email or at best it's email and text. But now you're able to do text, email and messenger. So having those three together is really powerful. It's one of the best ways for people to convert leads in 2020. So if you guys have any questions about messenger, just comment below. 
Glad to help you guys out with ManyChat. And again, let me know if you guys want that free course or access to where you can uh, check out those templates. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.